today I'm going to be doing a first impressions of the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil product line and I am so excited to do this because I've heard so much about these products in the past year or two and I can finally try them for myself. So if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, please be sure to subscribe so you can see more from me in the future and also follow me on Instagram and I'll have that linked in the description box. I actually already own the shampoo and so this won't be a first impressions of the shampoo. Um, I've used it quite a few times. I've had it for about a year and it's okay. I mean, it's okay. I don't know if I'm using it wrong because everybody seems to love this, but to me it's just like a shampoo. But as far as these three products, the Strengthen, Grow, and Restore Treatment Mask, the Leave-In Conditioner, and the Styling Lotion, these are all new to me. And I bought two of these and got one free. And they're already $2 off in store, so these were $10 a piece and I got this one free. But then I had my $2 off coupons for both of these. So long story short, it all came to like $11. So just to give you a couple of specs on the products, it is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow, and Restore line. And it has organic shea butter, Jamaican Black Castor Oil, and peppermint in it. And it says that it's to nourish, repair, and grow. And it's for natural, chemically processed, color-treated, or heat-styled hair. <laughs> Tongue twister. So today is my wash day and I'm just going to jump in the shower, I'm going to wash with the shampoo, detangle with my own detangler, um, then I'm going to deep condition with the treatment mask and style for a wash and go on camera. So stay tuned if you want to see what it looks like. So I am fresh out of the shower after washing my hair and detangling. And so this is my hair with no product before I apply my deep conditioner. And again, I shampooed with the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Clarifying Shampoo. And now I am prepping my hair for the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Treatment Mask. And this mask promises to nourish, rebuild, and grow. So I'm just wetting my hair down so that the mask can penetrate because my hair dried a little bit. And I'm showing you how much I'm going to take and put on my hair initially. And um, <laughs> quick smell check. It's an interesting smell at first, but I'll have my thoughts on the smell at the very end of this video. But I'm just applying it through my hair, starting at the ends and working my way up, making sure that I smooth it in really, really good. And then I like to part my hair into separate sections because that just helps me ensure that all the product is reaching every strand of my hair. So after repeating that to all four sections of hair, I'm finished applying the deep conditioner and you're just gonna see me applying the finishing touches to two halves of my hair, just putting more product on the ends, rubbing it through the length of my hair, putting it on my frizzy roots, and then I'm also gonna make sure I get my edges. Your edges need love too, so we're gonna make sure that we don't forget about those. So now I'm just twisting all of my hair into a top knot so that I can sit up under the dryer for about 45 minutes to an hour to deep condition. And I am back. I rinsed the deep conditioner out with cool water to seal my cuticle clothes. And I'm just going to smell my hair really quick because it was so fragrant. But um, I just like to touch my hair and see how the deep conditioner did with my hair and how it responded. And now I'm just going to move on to styling. So I've already applied the products to the three quadrants of my head and I'm working on that last front quadrant now. And I'm just spraying my hair down with water so that the product can take as best as possible for this wash and go. And then I'm going to take the leave-in and I'm just going to smooth that as best that I can through my, my hair. And you can see that because my hair is very, very wet, the curls are already forming on their own and then the product is just enhancing that curl. So whenever you do a wash and go, you want to make sure your hair is as wet as possible. So again, you're seeing me section my hair just to ensure that I'm getting the product to every strand. And this is also going to help decrease frizz as my hair is drying. And now I'm just taking the lotion and I'm warming that product into my hands because it is thicker and I want it to be able to penetrate my hair and warmer products penetrate low porosity hair better. So again, the same way I did the leave-in, I'm just applying it in sections, smoothing it as much as possible to enhance that curl pattern and I'm just taking my time so that I can ensure the final style comes out how I like. 
And to encourage my curl pattern even further, I'm somewhat scrunching the hair. I'm more so just pushing the ends up to the scalp to increase the curl definition. And then I'm gonna take some coconut oil lastly to seal all the products in and also seal in the moisture and give my hair some shine. So here's my hair after all the products have been applied to soaking wet hair. And the only way to see how it will come out in the end is just to wait for it to dry. So this is how my hair turned out. Um, it's actually about 24 hours since I applied the products because my hair didn't dry last night. And then when I woke up this morning, it still wasn't dry. So I let it just completely dry out. And this is what I am left with. So I feel that my hair is very moisturized. Like it feels like moist almost it still has like there are parts of it that feel dry and i really don't know why that is but there are other parts that are just super soft and moisturized and actually i do know why it feels hard these products give you a, a gel cast or just a cast from the hold of the products which is fine but when i was trying to like scrunch the crunch out it was really difficult to get it out like i was scrunching and scrunching and scrunching and my hair was still hard so i feel like my hair is just it's softened up over the past couple of hours and that's why it's starting to feel soft now but there are still some pieces in here that feel kind of hard and i mean that's okay but um i wish that you know it just all felt soft because it feels a little crunchy and I don't like that but um, as far as the hold of the products um, it's okay I didn't use a gel so it's expected to have frizz but I did notice that after applying the products and letting them dry for about an hour and a half my hair was frizzing as it was drying and that's not, I don't really like that. So I think these products are really good for moisture, but maybe they aren't the best for a wash and go if you don't have a gel to like seal the frizz out. But let's go through the individual products now. So like I said before, I've used this a couple of times before and I realized why I don't necessarily care for it and that's because it just makes my hair feel very hard after I use it and um, it's a no lather shampoo it's sulfate free and it's actually supposed to clarify your hair and um, when I use it I don't feel like my scalp is that clean and if I run it down the length of my hair it dries it out super quickly and my hair feels very hard and then I have to use a very moisturizing conditioner to reverse the effects of the shampoo and I mean it's bearable like once I use the moisturizing conditioner my hair is okay but I'd rather have a clarifying conditioner or a clarifying shampoo that just didn't strip my hair to begin with so this is okay and like I said this isn't new to me I've just you know had it for a while and I'll probably continue to use it just to get rid of it but I don't think I will repurchase this now the mask the strength and grow and restore treatment mask <laughs> this was actually very good I don't know how to describe it because it didn't make my hair feel super super soft and it didn't make my hair feel super hard it just made my hair feel healthy and nourished and like when I was putting it on it melted into my hair nicely it wasn't um it wasn't too thick going on I didn't feel like it wasn't penetrating like it definitely went into my hair shaft and I could feel it like in my hair and um, it has it feels very silky on the hair so I like that but upon rinsing it out like I was looking for that super soft feeling that I usually get from deep conditioners and I didn't find that with this but that's not a bad thing because you can over condition your hair and make it too soft it's just really good for giving your hair some nutrients I don't know how to describe it but it just made my hair feel very healthy and nourished and I like that Now the leave-in conditioner. I really liked this. Um, it's very light, but it still feels very soft. Like the texture of the product, it has like a velvety feel. So because it's like, to me, it's like water and velvet put together. That's what it feels like in my hair. So it went through my hair very easy. It glided through. You saw that I like wet my hair down. And when I was applying it, it went through very nicely. Um, I feel that it's a very, very light product. So I don't think I would be able to use this on its own ever whether I was braiding or twisting my hair this is very very light and you have to follow up with something um, heavier in my opinion or I have to follow up with something heavier just to keep the moisture in but this is a good leave-in conditioner 
and it comes in a 16 ounce jar for like $12 so that's great and then the styling lotion this is my favorite I I really like this I don't want to say I love it just yet because I haven't used it on anything but this gua sha and go but I like this a lot and the reason why I like this is because, like I said, the leave-in conditioner, it felt like water and velvet. This just feels like pure velvet. Like, it was so smooth and silky in my hands. Like, I was actually surprised by the texture of it when I was, like, rubbing it through my hands for the first time. And it just glides through my hair and it penetrates my hair very nicely, which I'm happy about because I hate when I use thicker products that don't penetrate my hair. But it just made my hair feel so good. Again, it made it feel nourished and just moisturized. And I think this would be really, really good for twists and braids. Um, but we'll just have to see about that. Another thing that I wanted to mention, the smell of this line, to me, smells really good. I know some people don't like it, but it smells so good to me. It smells like um, vanilla. It's very strong. Like, Actually, I can't smell it in my hair anymore, but this morning I could definitely still smell it in my hair. It's just a very sweet, um, warm vanilla scent, and I think it smells really good. So I like the smell. I like that it penetrates my hair. I like the price, definitely, because I got it on sale, and I really do feel like it makes my hair feel healthier and like it's actually feeding my hair, and that's important. So I give this line a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I really want to give it a 4, but I can't just because of how drying the shampoo is and also how the products don't really do much for frizz when it comes to a wash and go, which is completely fine. I just have to buy a styler, but I was really hoping that I would get some type of hold just by using the moisturizers. So that's my rating, and maybe it will change in the future. And I just want to thank you guys so much for subscribing. Um, I'm very happy that I am able to make these videos and people actually watch them. But um, I am going to have a giveaway at 100 subscribers, so stick around for that if you want to win some products. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.